Yo, hey guys, Small Mouth Crush, finally another video. It's been a while, I apologize, I'm slightly slacking. But I was able to get out on the water, super, super cold day. We're near the end, it's December, but the fish are still biting, if you can get out there. And I had a great time fishing uh, with the guys from Great Lakes Finesse. The snack craw is what we're really gonna be focusing on in this video, although we caught some fish on a variety of different baits. Uh, this truly is a remarkable finesse bait by Great Lakes Finesse. It's proven now that this thing works year round. It works in the spring, it works in the summer, and of course, all through the fall we were catching fish on this. This thing makes a great jig trailer, or it just works great just fishing it by itself as well. There's a lot of different ways you can fish the snack crawl. We're going to go through it in today's video. That's all coming up. All right, guys, as I said in the intro, I've been slacking a little bit on the videos, although that's going to change. We have a lot of great videos that we shot this past season that we're going to be putting out through the winter months. I still got to get through a little bit of duck hunting, a little bit of ice fishing, a little bit of steelhead fishing, and then before you know it, it's going to be springtime. We're going to be out there catching some more big smallmouth. In fact, I got actually a bunch of great videos I made last spring with the boys from Great Lakes Finesse, Matt and Dan. Uh, we're out there with me in this last video as well as the videos that we shot last spring which we're going to actually be putting out there here in the next few months as well sharing all the great products made by Great Lakes Finesse but in this particular video we focus a lot on the snack craw smoke purple I guess it's called smoke clear purple green pumpkin flat black those are some of the great colors that I like to use and we're going to get into the setup and how we're fishing this in the video as well. But uh, my my rod and reel combo for throwing uh, baits like the Snack Craw is the St. Croix. And no, this is an extreme. This is a Legend X, a St. Croix Legend X, which has been a rod I've been using quite a bit this year. Super impressed with the sensitivity, with the feel. It's, it's an expensive rod, right? You guys know uh, St. Croix makes a, a wide variety of different rods. And if you're looking for the higher end, the most sensitive rods on the market, you got to look at the St. Croix Legend Extreme as well as the Legend X series rods. This thing has been great. And it's not as expensive as the Extremes, which I throw a lot, use a lot. Uh, this Legend X, man, I've been, I've been really, really happy with the performance. This is a 7-foot medium, fast action. So the reel I'm using is Shimano Vanford. So I'm spooling this with high-vis yellow. This is, of course, the Cortland Master Braid. This is eight-pound yellow. This braid's amazing. If you haven't tried Cortland Master Braid before, do yourself a favor and pick some up this off-season. Get spooled up. They really have a great product. I've been using their braid now for three seasons, and I'm not looking back. It's, it's one of the best braids I've ever used. As far as fluorocarbon line, uh, any type of fluorocarbon that you have confidence in, and I'm just using eight 10 pound fluorocarbon leader. There's what, eight, nine, 10 feet of leader material on this. And here's the deal Great Lakes Finesse makes a lot of great terminal tackle, but we want to get down there a little bit quicker. We're fishing sometimes in that 30 foot range. So we would need a 3 8 ounce football head, and I think Kai Tech makes a great one. So we went with the 3 8 ounce Kai Tech football head jig, and we just took the weed guard off with the pliers, just pulled that right off of there. And that was our setup for throwing these snack cross today. So let's get back out on the water and, uh, and show you guys some fish catches. Yeah. Well, Matt stepped it up with a six pounder right away in the morning. A lot of these fish are set up in their wintering holes. So I'm using my Hummingbird 360. I'm looking for them scattered boulders, some good rock. And then I use my live scopes. I have one on a pole and one on the trolling motor. And you can see those little blobs hiding in and around those boulders. Those are all big smallmouth. 
that we're targeting here. You can see we got 44 degree water temp, and about 21 feet of water currently in this uh, particular uh, shot that we're uh, focusing on. There's a ton of fish there. And you really just have to slow down and take your time with that forward facing sonar because they really do blend in. But once you find them, you can kind of sit on them and, and put those baits to the test. Of course, I had to throw a little silver buddy in the mix just to mess with everyone. Good fish. Uh, <laughs> That's a good one. Hands are freezing. <laughs> but it's fun. You got one? Yeah. And this was earlier in the morning, so I, I did start out with a silver buddy and, and just didn't get as many bites as I thought. I picked up a drop shot here. I'm fishing the Great Lakes Finesse Drop Minnow, which I helped design. It's one of my favorite drop shot baits. I was able to get a decent fish doing that. But both Dan and Matt really stuck with the snack craw most of the day here. And eventually, I had to switch over as well. Cold water fish. We're getting them. Nice. All right. It's what, 44, 45 degrees, and we're just slowly crawling these? Yeah, we're just crawling up on the bottom. These little claws are just lifting a little bit, and uh, yeah, that's a heavier football head. That's a, a 3 8 ounce, and uh, yeah, they're smoking it. Um, yeah, there's no mistaking when you got a bite. Obviously, water temps are 43. It's it's cold, but there's a few out here. I don't know. 
Oh man. Uh, yeah. Yeah, just a five. Yeah, it's a nice fish though. Spoiled much. Cool. Just a five. Still catching them. Late fall smallies on the snack craw. Alright. Fish man, good job. I'll see what he goes. Five one. There you go. Yeah, another nice one. Get used to this ball thing. In the ticket. Tried some drop shots. Tried some other stuff. The second we put this snap craw on, they've been eating it. Of course, we have the FaceTime Epic Eric. Are you throwing any scent on them snack craw? That's what I want to know. Is Dan hooked up? Dan's hooked up. Dan's hooked up. He wanted in on the action. Wow, I had another bite too. From the Bass Lab. <laughs> oh, for four on that man. Settle down. That's all we're doing. Yeah, green pumpkin, right? Yup, big. Guess the weight. Guess the weight. 2.2. <laughs> okay, that's 50. the game we're going to play. 14 ounces. Nobody can ever guess the weight of a smallmouth that they hook up. I was going to say it's a giant and then it's like 3 pounds. Uh, hey, yep, yeah. 2.2 Thir ounces. Travis is in. Today. I'm shaking it, but in place a lot and then dead stick yeah. it and then move yep. just a little. Yep. What size ball head jig are you using? Oh, there we go. No. Yeah, I'm gonna I got you. Yeah, How deep are you fishing? He's got the net. That's a good one. Guess the weight. Guess the weight. Four. Oh, you gotta call four, it out on the hook set. Four six. Four six. All right. Are we scaling that one? Yep. Yeah. No hesitation. That's very cool. Good looking fish, man. Ooh, we're gonna hey, find out. out. What are you doing? I'm just moving around, getting out of the way. Okay, bud. Yep. What? 25. 25. There, there he goes. Oh yeah, he's in. Guess the weight, Travis. Without looking at it, guess the weight. Come on, man, be brave. Guess the weight now? Oh yeah, that's the whole plan. Okay. All right. Three, yeah, two. Yeah. Three, two. Okay, three, two, he's in. No, that's, this that's, is that's, awesome. That's a four, one. Four, one, nice. Dan, what do you got? Dan said four six. Uh, How do you do? Nice. Four fourteen. Oh, he's got it now. He wants to. He wants to increase the the, the size. I'm pretty good. Are you doing I guess. The same pattern you talked about on the the Patreon last. I'm sorry, the fixed TV one. Which one? The exclusive that we were on last night. Yeah. So it's holding. You really want to weigh him? I'm gonna tell you what he weighs. He weighs four. Nine. Four nine. I go four ten. And then you add five ounces to whatever it is. Man, I'm pretty good, bud. Which is the exact opposite of what a large mouth does in the fall. He zeroes in on bait fish, man. Right. Gorgeous. Yeah, I mean they'll eat crawls too for sure, but I mean they just get really focused on the bait. Yeah. I just got one. Move? Oh. Move? All right, let's move. Come on, Dan. Guess the weight. Guess the weight, Travis. <laughs> Guess the weight. Don't be a pussy. Guess the weight now. Don't uh, cheat. No two pounds. These are small. Two pounds even. We gotta keep gotta moving. <laughs> Broke it off. This is cool. Thanks for calling, man. Yeah. Awesome, nice, man. All right, guys, we're gonna fish. get back to fishing here. Yeah, you guys do it, man. Thanks for calling. Good seeing you guys again. Yeah. Congrats on all your success, for real. Make a great lineup of baits, man. Thanks, Good buddy. Good lines out there. Thanks, Travis. Thanks, Eric. All right, we'll see you guys. All right, we'll see you all later, man. Peace. Go. Hooked up. It's a solid fish. Yeah, it's a nice one. Very good. Yeah, I think we're doing damage.
damage. Oh, I can barely feel my hands. <laughs> Snack craw doing more damage. Yeah, that's a nice fish. That, oh my god! <laughs> Look at that! That's unbelievable.
Not bad. He's all right. Well, there we go. We call off fish today. We have a pretty good bag. It's, uh, it's just getting that time of year. The deal was football head with that snack crawl and just dragging it real slow. These fish are cold, it's cold, our hands are cold. Yep. But we put together a pretty good bag today and a good number of fish too on it. So. We're gonna wrap this one up guys. I don't know how much longer we're gonna be able to get out, but this might be the last trip of the season, I don't know. I hope not. Go shoot some ducks, I know that much. Sounds like a plan. Or some geese. Oh, oh. oh, oh come on, oh. man, that was perfect. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no. Alright. Well, you know what they say, one last cast or something. Oh man, now they're all yeah, now they're all there. All right. We're gonna keep fishing a little bit. <laughs> it's just an awkward backhanded look. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave any likes and comments, check the link below in the description below. There will be a link to all these baits. And as always, until next time, we'll see you guys on the water.